yeah, there, there are very few competitions in the world for young violinists. Ours is definitely the, le the leading competition, sort of known as the Olympics of the violin. It was founded in 1983 by, by a world famous violinist called Yehudi Menuhin, who was one of the most famous violinists of the last century. And I actually was the first official pianist of the competition back in 83, so I have a very long association with the event. It started, it started off in a small seaside town called Folkestone. And after his death in 1990, the, the trustees decided we would basically take it around the world. So every two years, it, it's quite unique. It, it moves to a different city, to a different country. So in 2010, it was in Oslo, where the patron was the king. In 2012, it was in Beijing. And this year, right now, is in Austin, Texas. It's the first time it's ever been in North America in its history. So it's incredibly exciting for us to be in America. Menuhin himself was born in New York, so it's a little bit like a sort of homecoming for the competition. I was six years old. Uh, I think my dad took me to the concert, uh, the New York Philharmonic because uh, that's where I grew up and uh, I guess when you're six years old you just want to do what everyone else is doing so I got into violin I ended up really liking it this started all the way back I believe in October we we got a we got an invitation and uh, through the invitation we were required to send a DVD with a bunch of uh, crew requirements for pieces that we had to send in along with a resume this year we received a world record of application 275 applicants applied by DVD from 30 countries and from those we've chosen 42 to come to Austin from 11 countries we were given composers and uh, through those composers we were pick a, pick a couple pieces that uh, best represents their work or best suits us whatever why Austin I think the sort of Creativity in Austin is wonderful. I think food here is awesome. You have great facilities and you have a fantastic faculty here at the Butler School of Music. This seriously, like Texas barbecue, definitely, definitely oh, marks the standard. What, one, what I like to do is integrate the, the local community, the local musicians into the program. So nine of the faculty are actually playing in concerts. We have 23 concerts, events, during the 10 days of the competition, so it's huge, <laughs> it's really big. I think that definitely the hardest part was getting over nerves. I've been nervous every single day for as long as I've been here, I've been here about four days, um, but definitely like trying to control myself, trying to, just because it's so little, like many micro movements, if you're, if you're off by like a millimeter, it, it's completely wrong, so I think just getting myself prepped and ready that was by far the hardest thing to do the winners get the first prize when the seniors gets ten thousand dollars prize uh, but it is about prestige because we are the the brand name is so famous um, it's really about the honor of winning winning it as opposed to the amount of money plus they will get a bunch maybe 20 concerts all over the world that they've been invited to play in london in vienna in germany so it's it's a big deal for the 